website to subscribe to this new Council of Governors or new, this Council of Assemblies Forum. Yet, they also the executive in its budget will be setting aside money, which is shareable revenue, money which is supposed to go to counties to support them to set up a club of men and women to go and sit down and chat. Yet, the framers of the Constitution, when they set up the Intergovernmental Agency, which before was, I don't know the name before, it was called what? IG, no, it was Transition, uh, Transition Authority. So it fit to set up an independent body that can be able to balance the relationship between the two arms of government, the national government and the council of government. Madam Speaker, I have a problem with over-legislating. And I have a problem with now saying, because these guys, the council of governors, have been operating illegally, let us now then put them in statue, and then we now go and get money which is supposed to go and help build hospitals, build schools, you know, uh, fund our children to go to school in scholarships and bursaries. Let us now give them the leeway to be able to go and decide this is how much money we are going to send to set to employ a CEO to be able to run this council, to employ a secretariat. I have a problem with that, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the neater way is to be able to ensure that the current statute as it is continues when it comes to the issue of the Secretariat of the Council of Governors. How do you tell us that you're going to set up a secretariat for us and then we are going to fund it and then we are going to be accountable for it? There's a problem here, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, on this issue of the establishment of the County Assemblies Forum, I strongly support that, but I believe for the independence of this agency, Exchequer, which is currently funding this agency, should continue funding it so that they can be independent. We, ha we have a serious problem currently with, between the relationship of governors and MCS, because the assemblies are not semi-autonomous. They depend on the governor to be able to give them money. In fact, if you go to most counties, they'll tell you, oh, governor have not given us money. Our money. Why? And this is the body which is supposed to, to oversight you. So although I support this bill, I want to persuade my colleague, the majority leader, to completely delete section 20A, which is now being proposed, as well as delete so I'll be proposing to him to delete this new section, funding of the council, and leave that role to be carried out by this intergovernmental agency. You cannot say it's an intergovernmental agency, yet you are now coming in and telling me, fund it from your own shareable revenue. Shareable revenue should be used as, the, as per the intended uh, functions. Number two, Madam Speaker, I would also be persuading the majority leader to delete Section 23C, funding of the forum. Let the money which is being given to the agency, the Intergovernmental Relation Agency, let the money which is being given to them by the exchequer run all those functions of that forum, and even if you are going to have a council of governors, let the secretariat be, remain as per the current statute to be the intergovernmental racial agency. We really need to be able to differentiate between accountability and between just a council, you know, sort of like a club of men and women going there to sit down and talk about what they've done. What I like about this is that when you look at section 4, of this act, of this amendment, of this bill, which is now amending this act. It talks clearly of the following functions, which are very clear. Facilitate dispute resolution between national government and county government within the framework provided under this act. 
that I support. You always need to have an arbiter. Now, tell me, Madam Speaker, how are you going to be able to have an arbiter yet you have your own secretariat? Your own secretariat will come out there and say, we don't agree with the powers that have been given to this current agency. We want to be the one who are now going to dictate to this agency on what they should be able to go and negotiate for us with this new council of governors which is being funded. I think this is wrong and I hope that my colleagues who will speak after me on this matter will agree with me that section 20A is really unnecessary. Madam Speaker, when you look at the order paper today, it talks about reinventing the wheel, amending the division of revenue bill. So hypothetically, if we now pass this, if we pass this bill, and we rush it first, and it is ascended into law, doesn't that mean that county governments will now have to redo their entire budgets again, make a provision, create a new budget line to be able to fund the Council of Governors? Senator so Kajuang will tell you that for the last 10 years, we've been agonizing on the legality of county government funding the Council of Governors. So since they have been operating in an illegal framework all throughout, the best thing to do is to have a complete independent body. We talk about corruption here every day. We talk about county governments being corrupt. I see that you've given this new council powers receive and transmit. No, it says... I think I've seen somewhere where it says summon anyone to be able to appear before it. Let us do away with a necessary creation of secretariats. We're just creating jobs for people. And even when those jobs have been established, you'll find that they only go to certain parts of this country. As if we are just visitors in this country. You know? So, Madam Speaker, although I support these amendments, I too would be bringing amendments, and I hope that my colleagues will agree with me that we need to stop this wastage. I want to summarize by saying the following. Number one, we do not need a secretariat of the Council of Governors. The secretariat of the Intergovernmental Agency, which is currently by statute the secretariat of the Council of Governors, should remain as so. We just need to be able to make it very clear 